A highly controversial plan to revamp the Chimsa Choi waterfront is now being revised. The Leisure and Cultural Services Department announced today it will adopt a simplified design for the Chimsa Choi East Promenade, and that requires no further town planning board approval. Ronnie Samtani tells us more. Plans to build a film gallery, observation decks, and extra food and beverage outlets at the Chimsa Choi Promenade are now being scrapped. The major facelift to the waterfront is being replaced by a simpler design. The Leisure and Cultural Services Department closed part of the promenade in October last year after receiving approval for the revitalization plan from the town planning board in August. The plan triggered a public outcry. Critics said the decision was made without adequate public consultation. There were also allegations of collusion as the government partnered with New World Development instead of holding an open tender for the improvement project. Today, the Leisure and Cultural Services Department explained the reason behind the U-turn. It said it's because of views received during a public engagement exercise held between September and November last year. While most respondents supported the improvement plan, many hoped for fewer structures to be built on the promenade. And people also asked to shorten the three-year closure period. With a simplified design, it's expected that the closure time during renovation will be reduced by about half. The department will only carry out basic improvement works, including refurbishing worn-out railings and floor tiles. Additional green features and more outdoor seating will also be provided. Upon completion, this part of the promenade in Chimsa Choi East will continue to be managed by the government. New World Development still holds a management contract for the existing Avenue of Stars and Salisbury Garden. It said it will just focus on improvement works and will continue to communicate with stakeholders to develop a more beautiful cultural space. Lawmaker Albert Ho said he believes judicial reviews launched by Sino Group and the Haralela Group spurred the change of plans. It shows that the government uh, has no alternative but to bend to pressure uh, due to the further intervention of these two commercial enterprises. And I, I regret it very much that the government uh, has refused to listen uh, to um, many uh, um, uh, public uh, persuasion and uh, make a right decision at a much earlier time. Tourism sector lawmaker UC Wing said it's a pity as we will miss out on the opportunity to improve facilities at the waterfront. Meanwhile, Professional Commons Chairman Albert Lai said it's rare for the government to withdraw its plans. He criticized the Leisure and Cultural Services Department for not consulting the public beforehand. Ronnie Santani, TVD News.